a very long time ago, I was getting major, major migraines that were so debilitating it wasn't funny. Some of my siblings who were similar to me thought, well, you're just getting the same things I've got with the same cellular health that I have, and the answer is no, I don't. And openly, a specialist worked with me to figure out what I need to do to balance those hormones out, and you know what? It worked absolutely perfectly for my life. I became much more productive, much more performing, much more happy, much more peaceful, and everything was working well for me. The way that I needed every part of my body to work for me, every part of my mind to be effective for me, every part of my time management not to be impacted by illness. But someone thought they'd play a doctor, and that person was a law enforcement officer, and he didn't have the right to do that. He's not a medical practitioner, he's not a specialist in what I went through, and openly, none of that is his business. But I did test them one time, and I claimed something at them one time, and wasn't it interesting that they all seemed to know? When the fuck did we allow law officers to know about our medical rights? When the hell did we authorize that? We sure didn't do that. I think that might have come out of the Obama era. I'm not sure, or did it come out of Clinton? Who's to say? But openly, Democrats sometimes make the wrong decisions each day, just like Republicans often say. But the truth is that so do they. So when we're talking about human rights, we have to get back to the dignities of the international charters that govern our cities, govern our nation, and there's nothing that a local ordinance does to override an international law. That's actually printed out there online in the actual establishments that protect and govern our nations and protect us from foreigners who are trying to commit treason and torture on our people.